becomes reality, and where carnival becomes art. And tonight, you are part of the magic. Now, make yourselves at home, and feel free to come and go as you please. The bartender, he looks a little lonely out there. But let the circus lights guide your return as we satisfy your curiosity tonight at the Circus of Dreams.
sir. Guess I didn't make it, but it went around the rose of sheer perfection. A freckle on the nose of life's conception. The silver or the shiny apple of its eye. I got a plan once, I got a try once. And we can hire one right, sir. Life is juicy, juicy, and you see, I gotta have my bite, sir. Now tonight, we were greeted as our wagons rolled into town with such generosity, the generosity that you've been showing to the ESRT tonight. And we were also greeted by local businesses who shared their gifts and their wealth with us. Well, we're only going to be in town for a while, so we need to give those away to you. So, tonight, we will give you a few of their, their generosity, little gifts of their generosity. Tonight, we start by giving one of you online vocal coaching and a voice lesson by Marjorie Searcy, valued at $140. Would I have a drawing, please? And the winner is Ann Frost. Excellent. Congratulations. Now, Miss Trish Scarpuzzi will find you in the audience and let you buy, give you your gift certificate. So let Trish know where you are, and Trish will find you. Thank you, lovely Trish. Oh, Everybody yeah. say hello to Trish. Yeah. Next, Carl Langley met us at the wagons and said, Hey, I've got two drunk lessons for you. Come on, and guys. you want to give those away. He doesn't know it yet, but that's what he did. He was just wandering down the tracks. I don't know. So, a drawing, please. Let's do it. And the winner is Ann Frost. Chris, you know where she is, right? Okay, great. Right. Next, next, Beth, listen, Miss Michael, Michael, we want you to do the drawing next, in case, in case Sammy is drawing the same. Maybe, maybe Ann paid Sammy off. So, I uh, know. I think. She, let me shake this up. Hold on. I think Sammy, did, 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 do you know Anne? Have you met her before backstage? Never once. Did you ever see her backstage? Okay, I'm gonna check it. Now, Beth Glisson met us at the train and she gave us headshots or senior portrait sessions for the value of $375. Michael. Or is that Michelle? Hold on, let Michael. No, Michael will draw. If you pull Ann Frost out, I'm gonna go. I gotta pull Ann Frost from that one. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I know it's not Ann Frost because this has no name. The winner is 777-0098. If you have that ticket number, 000098 of the last four digits. Ah, right here. Yeah. And Michelle, would you?
you please draw that prize for us? Thank you. You can't take her anywhere. All right. Ah, Glenn Webb. Congratulations. The lovely Chris Parker will find you in the audience. Now, thank you so much. Would you care for this one, please? Thank you. Now, you know, there is nothing more magical, Sammy, than a story of love. And tonight we want to share a beautiful love story shared on a Paris street. So imagine yourself on that peaceful Paris street and imagine what you might find if you see, of course, in the circus, a tiger at home. Ah! 
as we welcome to the stage Zoltar the Magnificent. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am Zoltar. And this is my lovely assistant, Celidia. You see, Zoltar was born in a very small village. This village was called Pujami. And in Pujami was a very old and wise man. We call this man the Yogi. The Yogi was our link to the spiritual world. You see, the village was thirsty. We would pray with the Yogi for water. If the village was hungry, we would go to the yogi and pray that the trees would bear fruit. Here, take a bite. And if the village had a man who needed a miracle, he would go to the yogi and pray for the magic. I was one such man. I went with my father to see the yogi. The yogi put his hands together and breathed in his hands. <laughs> and then he laid his hands on me. <laughs> the next day, the Circus of Dreams came to town, and they brought me Celidia, sister. It wasn't until she mysteriously disappeared, like a needle in a haystack, that I became his assistant. Yes, it's a little weird, but we got over it, yes. <laughs> yes. But the Yogi said, go, Zolta, join this band of misfits. Join the circus of dreams and take my magic with you. But I know that you cannot understand this magic unless I give each and every one of you a small sample of this magic. Selenia! Let's tell the future of someone. Someone in the crowd, yes, I'm feeling. Feeling the spirits guide me to someone very powerful. Yes. Yes, you said <laughs> Celidia here will tell your future. Go ahead, Celidia. Give me the cards of destiny. <laughs> King of diamonds. Yes. yes. <gasps> Queen of diamonds. Oh, yes. Yes. Jack oh, of diamonds. Yes. yes. Ten of diamonds. Oh, dear. Yes. No, we must give you a true 
eating. We will help you. Yes. We will help. If you put another dollar in the machine, Zopta will help you later. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here. These, sir, are true cards of destiny. But be very careful. Destiny can be cruel. Please cut the gem. Very careful. Very carefully. Cut this. Yes. Now cut the jack again. Yes. Yes. Slidia. Slidia. That's your sister. That is your sister. I know her well too. You met her. Lydia. Do you feel it too? I do. <laughs> this card, sir, is not your card. Destiny is telling me that it's not. We must not look at it. But please, let fate find the person in the audience who this card belongs to. Pick anyone in the audience. Pick someone. This card to belong to. This card yes. belongs. Yes. Over here. Over there. I see. No, no, over here. Oh, oh. Sit, sit here. <laughs> Do you feel someone here? Maybe. Maybe. She's not making eye contact. Yes. 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 The shield's over here. Yes. Right here. Okay. I see the gold. Okay. I see the gold. Please give her the card of destiny. Give her the card. Do not look at it. Turn it over. This card is for you and you only. Come in to me, demon of lust and desire. Come in to me. Now reveal to the audience what your destiny awaits. <laughs> the lovers! The lovers! They are lovers! Yes! The lovers. You are lovers? Are lovers? Yes, oh, lovers. Oh, they are lovers! Yes, yes. Anyone else in here lovers? Yes, lovers. Many lovers. Yes, yes sir. So, I have one last gift for you. This is a magical deck of Zoltar cards. But please, sir, promise me that you will not open this deck while you are here. It has the magical power to remove clothing. Use it your own, <laughs> your own desire. Okay. And not here. Not, not touch here. Jami printer. The printer has the magical ability to print whatever you think. Whatever is on your mind, the Pujami printer can make for you. We will look for another volunteer. Here. Yeah. Yes. yes. Now wait. Let's let let Zotar go first. I'll show you how it works. Now I will clear my mind. The first thing that comes to Zotar's mind will print, and I'm gonna stare at you, yes? You're looking here, yes? Yes. Yes. Print. Yes. Print. Yes. Print. Yes. Print. Yes. Print. Yes. Tell everyone what Zotar was thinking. I wonder if she is single, eh? What? No, that's not with all my mind. It's Lydia. This is the wrong box. It's very good. It's Lydia. Yes. We will find another volunteer. Over here, maybe. Yes. Just come over here to the back. This young man. Oh, oh this, the force is strong with you, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Now, this is very important. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. Now, look at Celitia. 
Imagine what you want to give to Lydia. <laughs> Make the connection. You have it? Burn it in. Yes, you got it? Yes, burn it in. Only what you want to give to Lydia more than anything else. Be careful, sir. Show them to Lydia what we have done. What, what is this dummy printer printed? Money? <laughs> so Lydia, this is a one dollar bill. Oh, no. ESR did need more than one dollar. <laughs> Yes, sir. I will show you how this is done. You will notice the one dollar bill. First, we will fold the dollar bill. This. We will fold the dollar bill again. One more time, we will fold the dollar. Now, imagine what you really want to give to ESRT. Imagine, imagine what you want to give to ESRT. Now, sir, we shall unfold the dollar, yes. We shall unfold it again. Oh, dear. And for one final fold, one hundred dollars.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for Mr. Kuda. Mr. Kuda, here is your token on this card. Do not open it here. I am not going to tell you what it does. It's uh, very simple. Here it was all I want your, I need your help to you share that generosity. Can you help me guess who has we will share these prizes with? Yes. So I'll let you use this box to help with your uh, incantations. Who has won many art by B. Jean? Yes. It's not fair for Zoltan to read the card. No, no. I'm thinking of a name. <laughs> Glenn Webb, is that what it says? That's you. Yeah. Yes, it is That's by Glenn Webb. Congratulations. This is the first part of the Now, who, who has won a Hiawassee River rafting trip for five? Hiawassee <laughs> River trip for five. Thank you. 
audience. We don't share that with everyone. Don't let every all of our other audiences know. But because, again, you have been such a special audience to us, as the Barker, I need your help. As a family of circus oddities, we, of course, have the normal family things that go on. Family rivalries. And I need your help settling one argument once and for all. Please help us decide who is the strongest and the most powerful. Is it mentally strong Zoltar? Uh, yes. yes! Or is it the physical brute strength yes. of Hans, the strongest man on the Eastern Shore? I see you are still the small man from Punjabi you always were. Yes. I see you've been pumping out, I mean pumping up or something, whatever you've been doing. <laughs> oh, you and your fancy words. Yes. You see, I used to have center stage. I was the strong man from Russia. And then we went to a small wedding in a small village, an Indian named Punjabi. For a man named Zoltar. Yes. yes. This man hasn't told you all that he had to leave his own village because he ran off with my assistance at his own wedding party. Well, strong man, things happen. You can't stop destiny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was her name, wasn't it? Destiny. <laughs> we have to put up with. For your enjoyment, I will now do an incredible Ukrainian over the head lift of one thousand pounds. Some more jewelry. I will make you something of steel. Okay. 
we welcome our very own ringmaster, who is the ringmaster of ESRT, as well as the ringmaster for the Circus of Dreams. So please welcome to our stage your very own ringmaster for tonight, Aaron Langley. about the thousands of people that come to our shows or the large percentage of growth we've had over the last couple of years, but I'm not. <laughs> if you'd like to talk numbers, feel free to catch up with me afterwards. Tonight, I want to talk about the circus. When we first announced the idea for this fundraiser, a friend came up to me and asked me why I had decided to do a circus event. The question stopped me in my tracks because I had to wonder, why did I actually decide to use a carnival theme? The obvious and partially true answer was that I needed a slightly edgier project to work on. I love working on children's shows, but sometimes it's fun to create material for a more mature crowd. And tonight you have proven how fun an adult audience can be. But that didn't capture the full scope of what this project meant to me. My life is basically a circus. There are the monkeys, the juggling clowns. Not quite, but my life is a circus. When I think about imagery of the big top, I see daring trapeze artists, sword swallowers, the feats that defy description, the magic. The absolute thrill of ESRT for me is the ability to create magical experiences for our community. I adore the buzz of the crowd waiting in a massive line along Magnolia Avenue at our Theater on the Bluff performances, and the excited shrieks of 900 children as we dim the lights for our fall musical to start. The awe and magic a musical number can sometimes spread through an audience when, for one moment, you can actually feel the inhale of a collective community as they breathe in the stage's wonder. Those are the moments of magic I cherish. While those moments are magical and beautiful and lovely, they represent a tiny fraction of what ESRT is. Yes, they are the shiny, sparkly things for our community to behold, but tonight, because I'm in a group of friends, I'd like to turn the big top lights on, reveal a few of the magician's secrets, give you a behind the scenes look at what it takes to run this circus called Eastern Shore Repertory Theater. The formula that keeps us thriving and growing? Hard work, blood, sweat, tears, total commitment. We are the carnies who drive the unglamorous train into town and set up our tents and unpack the lights and sound and gear. And when I say we, I do mean so many of you. You may not have realized, but you're part of the circus, too. <laughs> so many of you in the audience who paid for your tickets were also here early to volunteer and work this event. Many of you were the ones who so generously offered your gifts and services to our live auction and raffle. There is no magic company for us to call to build our sets and props. The costumes you've seen tonight were designed and constructed by Jana Perry. <laughs> Not a massive team, just Jana, spending hours on meticulously capturing the vision of the show through her creations. <coughs> the circus flourishes not because of a sleight of hand or the illusionist performance, but because of its dedicated band of carnies. And I'm so thankful to our hardworking carnies who helped to create an environment for our performers to thrive. Speaking of our performers, the one comment I hear regularly about ESRT is how talented our students are how there is an amazing amount of talent in our group, how blown away people are at their professionalism. And it's true. If you saw Bye Bye Birdie or The Lion King last year, you know that these kids are able to absolutely shine. They rise to the occasion, they exceed the expectations of an audience. Since I work with them almost every day, sometimes years and years on end, there are two things I'd like to mention, and again, unveil some of the illusion. There's no question that these students are brimming with potential and bursting with personality. They are naturally talented and eager to perform. But here's the thing. Talent is like the magic of a show. It's only a small part of the equation. Our students work 8 to 15 hours a week during rehearsals. They take dance lessons, they take acting lessons, private voice lessons, you name it. And it's not because they're expecting a lead role. They are dedicated to be, uh, being a part of an ensemble. They are a group of people who work together with the purpose of creating something beautiful. Our students strive for excellence, which on most days is not a glamorous pursuit. 
but they do it because they are learning that hard work and dedication help talent go a lot farther. The next time you see our young students thriving in, on stage in their beautiful costumes washed with color lighting, I ask you to think about this. A surprising, a very surprising number of these incredible children do not fit in well in a school setting. More of them than I would have imagined have learning disabilities, many with dyslexia. They struggle academically because they do not learn well in a typical classroom setting. The first time I heard that one of my very promising performers who handled lead roles in high pressure situations was doing very poorly in school, I was floored. She was brilliant and creative and funny and thrived so well in rehearsal. I have others who struggle socially at school. They don't fit in because they're not interested in being the next football athlete or cheerleader. I would defend any of them though because these kids are very intelligent, witty, creative, sensitive, and kind. Sometimes those characteristics don't play out well in the school setting. This is why ESRT is imperative for them. It's a safe place where they can be themselves and thrive. They not only work hard for their goals, but they're given the freedom to be who they are in a non-judgmental environment. There is a place for everyone at the Circus of Eastern Shore Repertory Theater. We are committed to enriching the culture of the Eastern Shore, to developing our young students, and even giving our adult actors a creative venue. This circus is fueled by the hard work of our volunteers and the financial support of our sponsors. The efforts we put into our performances and our students directly enhance the culture of the Eastern Shore. When you invest in us, we invest back into our special community. We also believe if we put the work in and show up, the circus magic will appear in its own time. I'd now like to present our auctioneer for the evening, Baldwin County Board of Education member, owner of Old Time Feed, and friend to so many, Cecil Christenberry. I hope that you have a fun time winning, and please know that these items were 100% donated by the community, so every dollar we raise goes to directly to the enhancing quality of ESRT and its students. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Green Master. Hey, I know you were having some of the same thoughts. I'm sitting over in the wings. I am blown away at both of my work. How fortunate, how truly blessed we are in this community to have this that entertains us. What a tremendous theatrical performance tonight as they do each time. We're so thankful for that. Now, we've had some awful good, I mean, wonderfully good audience participation, but it's about to ramp up. I look at you to get up and go get another drink or something, but I don't know how we do that. We've got seven items that we're going to auction off tonight. I'm going to have to take that hat off. I'm sorry. Keep doing it. We are so thankful that businesses and individuals have donated these wonderful items that we're going to need. Don't be shy. You know how an auction works. If you wait with as a friend, if i got spotters, y'all going to help me see because it's kind of hard to see out there. Hey, we're going to have a good time, though. Open your hearts, they're already open. Open your purses, your pocketbooks, and we do take all major credit cards, right? We do, right? I'm sure we do. <laughs> all right, folks, are you ready for the live auction? All right, here we go. First time up for you, we have seven. You know, there's a sign over at the ladder that says, Get Fit Fair Hope. And, well, no comment. This is Be Fit Fair Hope. Wolf man, you watch it for me, right? All right, buddy, I appreciate it. Our first item up for bid tonight is a B-Fit package. A one-month membership to Fairhope Fitness. The membership includes 24-hour access to exclusive private gym in downtown Fairhope. All classes included with this membership. Personal fitness training sessions with Jim, Jim, Bobby Stern, Ace Certified Personal Fitness Trainer. <laughs> A $25 Nike gift card, AdvoCare Basket, AdvoCare products provides innovative nutritional weight management and sports performance products. Two hours private yoga with Julie Wilkins, occupational therapist, and there you go, and movement educator, therapeutic yoga, mindful movement methodology, and yoga after spinal fusion. The value of this is $100. The total package, $400. Remember that. We're going to start tonight at $100. Who did $100? Somebody did $100. I got 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 $100. Great calls. I got $200 over here. 
Jesus 